Hey guys, what is going on? Bobbles here. So today I'm going to be telling you guys everything to do with all of the leaks and all the stuff that's coming up, like all challenges and everything that has actually been leaked with the 8.50 update in Fortnite. Now, believe me, there is a lot that I'm going to be going over in this video. Overtime challenges, a potential Star Lord skin, as well as actually discussing an event that should be happening that's not to do with the rune, it's actually to do with ice. It's going to end off season 8 and the start of season 9. Now, stay tuned to the very end to see every single topic that I've just said about and obviously if you do go on to enjoy the video then please leave a like and subscribe to me for more Fortnite content now just before I get into the video I just want to say yesterday I did indeed get my very own creator code Woo! I'm very happy about that. So if you do want to use it, then the code is BobbyThompson18. If you've uh, joined me in one of my live streams, then you'll know that that's actually my old epic name. And for some reason, they decided to give me that as my code. So don't worry, I am in the workings of trying to change it to just Bubbles. But for the moment, if you do want to support me in the Fortnite item shop, then please use BobbyThompson18. But anyway, getting on with the video. First thing I just want to quickly discuss is, is the Marvel Avengers crossover about the challenges. We've basically had the first three and I'm going to be telling you guys the leaked rest of them so that when they do come out you can smash them out and you know what's coming so you know how to be prepared. So the first challenge is to actually deal damage to opponents while throwing Thor's Stormbreaker. Now you have to do a thousand damage, it's basically the exact same as the Iron Man's one that we've had but you just need to use Thor's Stormbreaker. Pretty straightforward moving on to the second one to deal damage while flying with the cheat Chituri, the Chituri, Ch Chituri jetpack. The bad guys, basically. I'm going to refer to them as bad guys because I have no idea how you pronounce that. So that's that one. The next one is eliminations in the different matches of Endgame. You need five in total, five matches, basically. Very straightforward. It's quite simple to get eliminations. I yet haven't had the chance to play Thanos because the game hates me and never lets me be Thanos, basically. But the best way to get kills is apparently with Thanos. I've seen people have like 40, 50 kills with him. And yeah, it's insane. I just want to be Thanos. So game, please, please pick me for Thanos next. But moving on to the next challenge to deal damage with Captain America's shield. Captain America is my favorite out of the Avengers for this game mode in general as Iron Man, but for this game mode I think Captain America is the best because you can actually block damage and you can throw the shield which automatically kind of locks on. It it's great, I like him a lot, he's fun. Next challenge is to deal damage with the bad guys, laser rifle. So again, it's pretty straightforward. This one's only 500, not 1000, so it's not a lot at all. And I actually like being the bad guys, you know. They're a lot of fun in my opinion, a lot of people say that they're boring and they don't like them, but yeah, I, I, I rather enjoy them a lot. Moving on to the next one, win matches of Endgame as a bad guy or Thanos. You need to win three in total, which to be fair, again, isn't too hard. I think these challenges are more grindy than anything because they kind of keep on saying the indifferent matches part. But yeah, I mean, it's a fun game mode, so you can get it done. Next one is deal damage with 10 seconds of grappling with Hawkeye's bow. That one is um, is a little bit tricky. I personally hate Hawkeye's bow because you can't actually aim in like with a normal bow. But my uh, my biggest thing with this one is probably grapple and then swap to like Iron Man or Captain America and get the damage done with that. That would probably be the easiest way to do that one. Or unless you're a boss with a bow, then you can just do it like normal. But yeah, if you're me, swap over. Moving on to the next one, deal damage with the bad guy's energy launcher. Again, it's basically the same, but the energy launchers isn't the laser beam, it's the actual like grenade sort of bomb thing that it sends off. So, 500 damage, pretty straightforward, and moving on to the next one. To win matches of Endgame as the hero team, and that's three as well. These challenges get released kind of three in a row, so again, it's not too hard. You play a couple of matches that day, two days later you play a few matches that day, and you'll get the challenges done. Then all of the rest of the Avengers challenges, so they are the rest of all of the challenges that you're getting, so let's move on to another topic that's kind of on the Avengers theme. It's actually about a potential Star Lord skin. Now yesterday we actually just had our first Avengers skin and it was indeed Black Widow. It looks pretty cool. It doesn't look exactly identical to Black Widow in my opinion but I think she's pretty cool and I know that the pickaxe and the emote are absolutely epic. But anyway sticking with Star Lord there has actually been some files that have been found by data miners. Now this first one actually says about Guardians of the Galaxy. So as we can see there is something that's coming into the game 
the Guardians of the Galaxy. And who obviously is the main character? It's Star-Lord. Now, a little theory has been going around that it wouldn't be a skin, it would actually be a music sheet instead. Now, musics are pretty cool. I think that if there was a Star-Lord one, it would be absolutely awesome, and I definitely would be getting it. Uh, and to back up this point, there actually is an image that shows pack written in it as well, so kind of like music pack, it kind of goes a bit more. However, there is actually leaked images of the potential Star-Lord skin. I'll show it on screen now. It looks absolutely insane. I'm really hoping that this is real and it's true and it does actually have a potential leaked date and it is indeed the 30th of April and that's Tuesday. So look out on Tuesday for this skin because very highly likely it could be coming or if not it will be something to do with Guardians of the Galaxy or Star Lord. So very exciting stuff and I definitely cannot wait for Tuesday to see what will be coming. Now next topic the overtime challenges. Now these challenges um, we actually got similar ones last season and it's basically you complete these challenges for the people that have completed everything like the battle pass and everything and it's to unlock different variants of skins that we've had during the battle pass so before i show you the different variants of the skins which by the way look insane i'm gonna actually show you the challenges that you have to complete in order to get these different variants so as we can see the first one is to reach battle pass tier 23 very simple i'm pretty sure everyone's gonna have done that the next one, complete free overtime challenges, you need to do two of those. Then the next one is to reach a battle pass at tier 71 and then 78. Again, I'm pretty sure you all should have done that. Next one, collect coins in featured creative islands, 20. I remember doing this last season and um, yeah, it was pretty simple, but a little bit time consuming. But it's actually pretty fun. So there's that one. Next one, place top 10 in squads with a friend. Next one, deal damage to opponents, a thousand, that one not too hard. Place top 15 in duos with a friend. Again, it's pretty straightforward stuff. You gotta do that three times. Another one, outlast opponents, 500. Very simple indeed. And then the final one, place top 25 in solo. You gotta do that three times. So it's basically some of them are mainly just about reaching a different level in the battle pass and then to just basically outlive opponents in matches. So it's pretty straightforward. It is very simple. So let's take a look at the actual skin variants that you get from completing these overtime challenges. So as we can see, they look absolutely awesome. I absolutely love all of them, but I do think that the uh, the Tiger Face, whatever his name is, looks the coolest. Let me know down in the comments who your favourite one is. And I just want to say quickly that if you do actually use my creator code, then take a picture of you using it and send it over to me on one of my social medias or Discord or whatever, and I will give you a shout out in my next video. If you want a shout out when you're using my code, then it's a win-win. And then moving on, I just want to quickly show you the leaked week 10 loading screen. This looks absolutely crazy. As we can see, it's basically the main characters that you actually got from this season. And uh, they're all standing there. They're all pointing down to the Loot Lake kind of bunker, whatever we're going to call it, spaceship thing that's there. To me, it looks like there's only one rune left to go. So I think that that's basically them saying that for the very end of season 8, there's going to be one rune left. So starting with season 9, it's going to be when basically everything kicks off and it all happens. But anyway, that is absolutely everything for this video. Like I said earlier, if you have enjoyed them, please obviously leave a like and subscribe to me for more Fortnite content. But anyway, thank you for watching the video, guys. See ya.